Today, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the greatest elevators ever to exist in Minecraft. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back today. We are going to be taking a look at six different elevators that you could build in Minecraft. These things are really cool and it ranges from simple elevators to realistic ones as well as the fastest elevator that you could build in the game. Now I have tutorials for all of these things in the description box down below if you want to go check those out. But anyways, let's just get to it. All right, so the first elevator we're going to be checking out is of course the realistic elevator elevator which is by far one of my favorites. You can build this on PC or in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I will link both of those videos down below so you can enjoy it. And yeah, what makes this realistic is that it has working doors. It uses slime blocks to create a lift and it's just really cool. So here's a redstone behind it. As you guys can see, it's quite complicated, but once you get the hang of it and if you know how redstone works, it's not really that big of a challenge. Either way, let's go ahead and step into this elevator and we can look through our skylight at the top. I like adding that feature in. Sometimes I do add the glowstone, but either way, we click on this button. As you can see, we get lifted up, the door opens, and now we are here on the second floor. Now, unfortunately, uh, it only goes up to the second floor. You can't really extend it anymore. I mean, there's different ways to do it, but with the working doors, it's quite difficult to do so since, um, you know, it syncs up with this particular system. Now, I'm trying to turn this off. Let's go ahead and just turn the rain off, and we could go back through the top section, and then click on this T flip flop button right over here, and it will take us back down to the first floor. So as you can see, it's quite seamless, and it's just realistic and it just works really well. So yeah, that's the realistic elevator. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Okay, so the second elevator we have here is called the fastest elevator in Minecraft. It's one of the oldest designs and the only disadvantages with this elevator is that it doesn't go down. And I did add a slime block over here so you could just fall down and bounce on it and take no fall damage. But either way, it's not really that elegant to just fall down to the bottom of the elevator. And also it's quite glitchy since you have to stand at the direct center sometimes in order for to work. But either way, as you guys can see, I'm standing at the direct center. I hit that button and it should push us all the way to the top. It works about 80% of the time, but sometimes you do fall off and it's quite unfortunate. But either way, that is our fastest elevator. We drop back down to, you know, just get back to the first floor. And what's cool about this is that you could extend this pretty much until the block limit. But yet again, it's very difficult to stay on the elevator if you're traveling for that many blocks. So let's go ahead and just try this one more time just to show you guys how fast this is. And you can't really really do in third person so let's just go up boom there we go and I did that one quite easily now the next elevator we're going to take a look at is a Minecraft 1.9 elevator for PC and this only works in 1.9 because it takes advantage of a certain glitch that just makes it very easy and simple all right so basically all we need to do to get to the next floor is walk forward hit that button and we basically get glitched to the next floor so as you can see we could go to the third floor and then the fourth floor and then the fifth and it's just really simple guys and the redstone for this is even simpler I mean just check that out We just have a simple T flip-flop in the back That's going to push our regular pistons down and the glitch in the game is basically after 1.9 There's a specific update with the pistons that when it pushes you down You kind of pop up above the piston So if I go ahead and just grab myself a decoration here or a jukebox Let's just grab that and place it down over there as you can see when I click on that button We do you know switch floors. That's just to prove that I am going up and not staying in the same positions because all of these um, levels are identical. Now, the advantage for this one is that, of course, it's completely expandable and the only disadvantage I would see is that, of course, you cannot go down and it only works after Minecraft 1.9 on PC, so you can't really do this on mobile or any other uh, console version. So yeah, that's definitely a huge disadvantage, but if you're on PC, it works quite well for getting to the next floors and yet again, it's super simple to build. All right, next we have our Slime Bounce Elevator. Now this works in all versions of Minecraft on console, PC, and MCPE. And as the name says, you basically use slime blocks to bounce you to the other levels. This one's kind of tricky, but it's completely expandable all the way up to the height limit. And it's also modular, if you guys notice. And yet again, the redstone is very simple. All right, so now let's go ahead and just test this out. What you have to do is basically step on the bottom block and then hit this. And then if you want to get off on the different floors, you just have to count the, the blocks that you're 
jumping on. So if I go ahead and hit this once, and then I walk forward, as you can see, I could stop off on the second floor. And then if I come back down here and I hit it again, and I count one and two, and I walk forward, I get to the third floor. That's basically how you would do it. It's quite well once you get the hang of it. And if I want to go all the way to the top, I would just hit this button and count one, two, three, and four. And then I, I kind of walk forward a bit early there, but you guys get the idea. We would pretty much have ourselves going to any floor that we like once we just time it perfectly. Yet again, um, this one doesn't have like a down mechanism like the realistic elevator, but yet again, you could drop down onto our slime block and take no fall damage and just hold shift and now it bounced up. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite good and it's a very simple elevator for those of you just starting out. It's not resource heavy or anything and the redstone is um, yet again very simple to create. Now let's go ahead and check out the next elevator. Now the next elevator we have is a bit more complicated sort of on purpose, but it's called our minecart elevator. This basically uses slime blocks to bounce you when you're in a minecart up to different floors. Yet again, it's modular, so you could build this up to the sky limits, but the only downside is that it's absolutely massive and it's very resource intensive. So I would not actually build this unless I was, you know, kind of fancy and I wanted to spend all my resources, but either way, as you guys can see, this is pretty much how it looks. Yet again, modular systems that are basically slime block launchers for our minecarts and it, you just take it up to whatever level. But anyways, let's go ahead and test this out and see how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and just place down our minecart right over there. We go forward, we activate a detector rail, which basically launches us back and forth, as you can see, between our slime block launchers until we get all the way to the top. And boom, there we are. We can now get out of the minecart and just, um, you know, go off onto whatever floor that we like. Of course, the uh, main downside is that you can only go towards a start and end position. You can't really stop off on the you know, second floor or stop off on the third floor. You have to go all the way to the top. Otherwise, there's really no point or, you know, you can't really do it either way. But uh, what I like to do is like make a stop over here and then I place down a button and then I use that button to power the rails. And then this rail is pretty much just going to fall back down onto the bottom floor. That way you don't really take too much fall damage and you also, you know, find a nice position to land to get back to the first floor. Obviously, there's supposed to be a rail here to catch the minecart, but you guys get the idea. It works quite well, and it's uh, pretty interesting and definitely an option when creating elevators. Okay, so here is the final elevator we're going to take a look at. This is a realistic elevator using no slime blocks, just pistons. Now, the reason I saved this one for last is because it's sort of buggy, and it works about, I would say, 50% of the time. I know that's kind of horrible, but it's a, it is a one- 0.10 Minecraft elevator, so it's quite new and hopefully in the future there is uh, you know better designs for this particular model But either way as you guys can see there's uh, a lot of redstone kind of built into it It's mostly just at the bottom and at the top it utilizes our bud switches uh, your block updates uh, blocks or whatever to Basically move this lift all the way to the bottom and then all the way to the top So let's go ahead and test this out The first thing I want to do is click on this button to bring the lift down as you can see It's pretty much just going to move those pistons until all the sand blocks reaches our ground level it lines up with it perfectly and then we could click on that button again to go all the way to the top so I'm not sure if this is actually going to work but let's go ahead and just test this out click on that button stand right over here and as you can see we're going up to our top floor it's working and it levels out right uh, over here which is just perfect so as you guys can see it does work and it's really cool and it's definitely an option for those of you that don't have slime blocks to create a realistic elevator and this is also expandable to however you know tall that you want unlike the realistic elevator this is um you know un this is more versatile all right so to extend it you would basically just have to change the amount of items in here because the amount of items in here dictate how many times the pistons over here moves. So it's quite simple to expand and it's not really too difficult. Now before we end the video, I just wanna go over the elevators one more time and tell you the best reasons of why you would want to build this. Of course, a 1.9 elevator is best if you're playing on PC and you just want something very simple and compact. It works quite well. The slime bounce elevator is also very nice. It's uh, across all platforms of Minecraft. Yet again, it's one of the simplest elevators and I would definitely create this when I first start off my survival game 
game, so that's the biggest upside. This one, uh, the biggest upside to this is that it's the fastest elevator and it gets you to where you need to be very quickly. The realistic elevator obviously looks the best and honestly, it is the best elevator in my opinion. It has the working doors, but it's very complicated to build, so it might not be the first one you create in your survival game, but it's definitely one that you want to aim for. Next up, we have the minecart elevator. This one, I think the best use for it would be for, say, a roller coaster or just for a mini adventure map where you have a minecart rail system and you just use this to elevate them back up to, you know, wherever you know, in a fast and cool way. So yeah, that's one of the main advantages to that one. And the main advantage to the realistic elevator is that this is pretty much, or the realistic piston elevator, is that this is pretty much like the realistic slime block elevator, except without the doors, and it's completely expandable to whatever height that you would like. So yet again, in my opinion, I think the realistic elevator with the slime blocks and the working doors is the best one. I don't know, you guys can tell me which one you like in the comment section down below. I would love to know. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please take one second to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel to see when I post my videos. Anyways, this was Twist, and I'll see you guys next time.